Ahoy gamers, welcome back to Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth 2 as you play through the Age of the Ring mod. This week we are fighting in Lorien itself. We are playing as the faction of Dol Geldor using the Necromancer. We end up having to turtle in this match as we're doing a 3v3. We've got two goblins on my side against three Lothlorien AI. But as we're turtling, our goblin AI gets really strong and then we just steamroll the elves on the other side of the river. So without further ado, let's jump on in. And we are back on Battle for Middle-earth 2. As today we're playing on the Age of the Ring mod again, which I'm really enjoying this mod showcase. Really fun mod, complete overhaul, loads of new units, loads of new armies. Uh, so today we'll be doing a free on free in the Nan Celebrant, which is essentially a river that goes through southern Lothlorien, or Loth southern Lorien, which is the wood. So we're going to be going with me playing as Dol Geldor, because the AI kind of struggles playing with Dol Geldor, with two Misty Mountain Goblin allies against, there's a big old river in the middle, against some free Lothlorien defenders. So let's jump on in. Everyone's on, all the enemy are on. Soldier difficulty, which is medium slash hard. It says number four here. I, I kind of disagree with that. It, it's near enough hard uh, soldier difficulty. Uh, some of the higher difficulties are really, really tough. I think there's like deaf, deaf guard or deaf captain. Really tough to play as. So if you've never seen this before, um, or you've never seen this um, mod, uh, this is a very good mod. Probably my favourite. Let's bring out the Necromont straight away. Really good class. Um... So this faction, Dol Geldor, is essentially what it says in the tin. It is um, the Necromancer from the Hobbit movies. So Necromancer, i.e. Sauron, uh, before he loses his, uh, as he loses his body. Oh, no, he doesn't lose his body. He's his corporeal form. Uh, he's essentially a Necromancer. Uh, so he summons loads of dead. He's in Dol Geldor, uh, hiding from essentially everyone there's many people well, hiding from the free people an interesting thing you can do with this as if you've got your resource builders as normal uh, but every time you, you send your builders out to build you lose them so you're not so i'm not going to get them back so i've sent them out and they're gone um so you have to continually build builders which is fine they're not that expensive they're only 100 each your buildings aren't that strong either uh, but once again that's fine so we're going to try and hold this top area as much as we can. So obviously there's three ways they can get across. This location, this location, and this location. It's an actual bridge here. Uh, my one in the middle hasn't got any towers we can fortify, but that's fine. We've got Necromancer's now out. Necromancer is obviously a almost a reincarnation of uh, Sauron himself. Let's get some barrels out to defend us. So he has Dark Presence. So... Dol Geldor, because most of your units are summons. Um, okay, it looks like I can summon a warg. This warg... Ah, nice. So he hasn't got a sentient pet. It's pretty cool. Um, oh, I lost my chain of thought. We've got the warg and... Does the warg level up? Oh, he's already level 5. Fine. Yeah, so all of your summons, because they're essentially dead, they are slowly, um, they slowly decrypt, decrypt, they slowly decay over time. So you essentially need to keep, um, keep them within a the necromancer's presence, i.e., Sauron's presence. So there's allies over here, enemies over here. Let's start attacking these. So I want the necromancer to start leveling up. Uh, with that in mind, what have we got up here? So we've got this building here, which allows us to spam out spiders. Relatively good. Uh, looks like they are already in my base, which is not ideal. Uh, get a couple fell broods, they should be able to hold them back. Um, why are you stunned? I'm not sure. You guys take, you go take out these archers here. The fell broods here are pretty strong. Um, should be able to take care of these um, guys attacking me. So you can see huge AOE damage from this guy. Uh, when Felbrood comes out, okay, it looks like we are not going to get the uh, save that building. That's okay, I guess. You guys go and chase these down, please. We can use this to send out some troops. Okay, you just keep keep doing your, your thing. 
I uh, wouldn't mind. There's a building, Ruinous Tower. That's not the one we want. I want Spire of Sorcery. It's quite a good uh, tower which we can bring down. Do we have a second unit? Yeah, we, the second unit's on its way. You guys just keep fighting. At level 2, you guys can get uh, your uh, heal, which is very useful. There you go. You guys are just going to be like a rapid defense. With that in mind, we lost two resource buildings. Let's quickly rebuild those. And build one up here. Okay, awesome, you guys. You guys are just for defense. Um, okay, Sauron, you just keep running around doing your thing. Uh, let your doggo do some damage as well. So after you killed a number of these, you might actually uh, drop running back. It's already level 6, which is really good. Uh, you guys want to take these guys out. Alright, you can now use this. There you go, it's now incorporeal, so we can now get him to literally run back to, back to base. These are really good, these unburied rights. Alright, let's get another... Oh, it's good. Uh, let's get the, uh, some more shades out. You guys go and attack these. Uh, why can't I get these? I need Spire or Sorcery. That's not ideal. You definitely want to heal up. Let's see if you guys can go and assist down here. Uh, so we've lost another well. You go build another well then. Uh, where's my builder gone? Did they kill my builder that quickly? Not ideal. Let's come up here. Defend that. Uh, which means we want to build two more builders. Because they're gonna they've already destroyed one of my wells. Yeah, these spiders are, are pretty good. Let's um for what they are. Relatively cheap units. So I want the necromancer to heal up a little bit here as well. It's a little annoying that these guys researchers at the Okay, so I can actually uh, so this build I'm building here is just for bo uh, Bob Standard Infantry Units. But they do allow me to upgrade these to level 2. So I'm going to get another one of them out. And uh, just so I can run around and uh, help. Well, just, just help. Uh, the stronger they are, the better. So we've got a spider lair. We've got this one. We also want to build a font of corruption. But there's no really rush for that. The font of corruption is mainly for uh, siege weapons. We will build another builder to build one. So I've just got the Necromancer here. He's just going to hold the front line, I guess. He's stunned. Don't know what stunned him. Uh, this is now finished. So we want to buy banners from these. You can go this, this way and go take care of them. Okay, you guys. Uh, oh. You guys are team free. So that just quickly alt tabbed by accident. And we can. Should be able to get them all with banners very shortly. Okay, you guys just keep chasing them down. Uh, we are missing... Uh, what building are we missing? We're missing this one. The font of... Okay, it's not ideal that they've managed to take care of those. Uh, spiders. All of these can level up with banners. This is really annoying. Why I, I could I could hold them back. But well, it would be nice if my ally actually did something. Um, so you guys are number two. Okay, I guess they're doing something over here. Uh, I don't really want to keep losing buildings to be honest. The spire of well, the spire is really good. You get a really good unit called Armoured Castilians, which I'll kind of want. So I can hold my own with, with the army I've got at the moment. Um, go, so let's get all my spiders to gather back up. Wouldn't mind having a bit of a respite so my hero can heal up. Right, so what do we want to... What have we lost? We lost one well. So we build another well over here. Got, let's build two more to come back in. 
Uh, let's just keep you on the front line. Uh, keep the pressure up using the Necromancer himself. Got another one out. Let's build you just here. What? What, what took him out? I know he had half health, but he, he would have just melted. Okay, I'm not sure what took him out. He's very expensive to bring back. Um, so with that in mind, that's... It's a bit annoying that they managed to kill him so quickly. That's, I guess it's fine. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. So, um, let's build one of these towers just here. We've got a, my goblin friend here. has a lot of troops. If he sent them in, I think we'll probably be able to win this. Our ruins are being ruined. Um, so, they've just got a load of dagger. Okay, they are dealt with. Fine. i wait until... I my spies are behind them. They're going to charge them in. And there that should have cleared most of those guys out. I don't really want to get into a fist fight with them, with my spiders. Because you see how much damage they managed to do against these guys. A holy amount of damage. So how much is Sauron going to cost? 2,800. Fine. That's a bit expensive. Uh, so Armored Castilians are also very good. With that, we can then bring out these Unburied Whites. These are very good as well. So we want the Necromancer out. We want Castilians out. And we want some Unburied Whites out at the same time. We have got these, which uh, we can spam out these Entwives. Uh, very strong as well. That's going to cost a bit. So the Necromancer's first. So let's get Sauron back out as soon as we can. Um, these Spiders can come down here and take care of these. Might as well keep them... Uh, Keep them busy. Uh, so it's going to... Another 500 or so left. You guys go over and clear those. Let's bring out... Uh, two more builders. Okay, they've got some crossing this river here. Spiders, you go deal with them. They've got a sh Look at this blob. This is disgusting. Let's see if I can help my ally here. Uh, have I got anything that can help... This is a structure. Forest of fear. Let's call this in. Uh, let's put you down. I can't even put you on those en enemy troops. Okay, so they're dealt with. If you come over here and try and fight those. Just try and keep them off of my ally as much as possible. Right, let's, yeah, build another one down here. Okay, well they've just turned around and essentially killed one of my spiders here. Okay, nope, never mind, they're dealt with. Fine. Uh, we now have enough to bring Sauron back. Good. For the Necromancer. I'm, I'm going to use Sauron and Necromancer interchangeably. It's the same thing. Um, just different forms of him. Okay, it looks like our ally pushed through, which is good. Let's build another one of these wells. Just keep bringing in a little bit more money. Whenever you play against goblins uh, on this uh, mod, you, you know full well that you're going to be overwhelmed by a sheer number of troops, which, is, which makes sense. Oh no, these guys are doing a lot of damage. Um, I might lose I might lose some, uh, some spiders here. You guys drop out. Drop back. I did. I don't want to lose any of you. Okay, so they've got some troops attacking that well. Uh, with that in mind, we should ideally get some armor Castilians. So that needs to be level 2 Spire of Sorcery. Uh, you guys are just going to heal up good. Uh, how far? Necromancer's halfway here. Uh, Entwives, this needs to be level 3, this font. Are they still attacking my, my building? Yeah, they are. Not ideal. So I can spawn some spiders. The skill here spawns spiders. I don't actually know where they are. But they've stopped attacking they've stopped attacking that building, which is good I guess. Uh, spawn spiders here as well. I'm essentially being carried by my um two NPCs here. Which is fine. <laughs> she is fine. Okay, that building okay, both of these buildings survived. That's very good. I was going to say, that looks like something that's fresh. 
It doesn't look like something's undead, so therefore it's not nice. Uh, right, sounds almost back. Let's get this out so we can get some more ent or get some ent wives out. Uh, then we also want this upgraded as well. Whenever that's done. A structure has been improved. Okay, we don't actually need that, so we can go straight to getting one of the armor's castilians. Uh, I think they probably destroyed this. No, they haven't. Oh, good. It managed to survive. So ideally, we want three of these out. A few of these ent wives because they're they're essentially our siege weapons. These guys, yeah, fine. I don't mind if they get taken out now. And then we want some of these buried whites. All right, Necromancer has returned. Wherever he is, there he is. Uh, he's team one. So he has now got this. Necromancer drops some flames, blasts some enemies and set in the area on fire. Cannot be used while in shapeless manner, malice, which is this. All right, so with that in mind, you can come down here and you can start uh, taking down some enemies. Uh, did this unit come out? You should have come out. I've already bought one. Our resources are running out. Um. Oh, there he is. Oh, sorry, it took me a second there to find him. There he is. Very cool looking unit. Let's bring. There we go. That's all three of them that we can actually buy. Do not let them free the slaves. Once I've got all three of them. Um, you guys come down here. You guys see if you can stop them. And we want three of them. Then we want all of these. We can have three of these as well. Then we have some ent wives as well, which is slightly less expensive as everything else. And then they've got some troops over here. They're probably going to destroy this well. Uh, see if I can bring out an infestation. That's working, I guess. Right, so now let's call in. Probably get probably three ant wives. How many of these can we have? We can have three of these as well. It's fine. Uh, we can just probably carry this with uh, the necromancer for the time being. Okay, there's some glaive guard there. I'm calling them glaive guard. I don't actually know what they're called. Okay, they've got some horses attacking this well. Let's bring out some spiders. There's an ant wife. There, there they are. Um, let's get three of them out. All my uh, armored Castilians are out as well. Pretty happy about that. Uh, we can get my doggo out. Summon a doggo. Where is the doggo? Okay, you guys just keep going. Slowly make your way to the uh, enemy base, I guess. Okay, that won't take long to destroy. Uh, so that's all three ant wives out. Bring in. We want three of these. Okay, that is their fortress down there. Annoyingly, the heals on my. Um, the slow passive heal on the necromancer isn't that great. So he's not going to get a huge amount of healing over time. Well, it makes sense. I guess he is kind of undead in a way. He's, he's in his ethereal form. Ethereal, not ethereal. Right, there are some archers just here. You guys take out these archers. Okay, that is their, obviously their base there. Okay, awesome. The wargs just charge straight in. Good. And he's just one-shot that entire force. Okay, that is a hero here. I don't know who this hero is. But he is Dunzo. Dunzo Washington. Let's get our virgin of these out as well. Ooh, he's down. Good. Oh, some glaive units here as well. I did. I like to um, to get him to level ten before I get him to teleport away. Okay, looks like he is just about to get to level ten. One more swing. There he goes. Level ten. Amazing. Let's. Make everything on fire. That's quite a good attack, actually. Not sure whether this uh, hurts allies as well. Let's get him back to our base. Let's get him all the way back here. 
And there you go. So we've got some of these whites. Now, with that in mind, uh, we could probably get this upgraded. We want some archers of some sort. There's a strong versus. So can't remember what these all are. Oh, tomb guards. So we just upgrade this a few times. Get a few more tomb guards. Let's call in a couple more ent wives as well. Because they're essentially our ranged unit, these ent wives. Yeah, if we can get some of these tomb guards, this needs to be level 3, but that's not the end of the world. Um, where is our... There he is. There's the necromancer. Let him unsummon himself. Some of these are quite good upgrades. Uh, so we can get this ensnare... Uh, a palantir which can reveal the, the map some of these other heroes this easterling is pretty good he's one of the nazgul uh, this is essentially a, the daughter of shelob uh, also very good uh, he does cost a lot uh kumul the easterling but he's, he's definitely worth it kargast is also one um this one for a barrel white oh yeah he's the great king of um Roh Rovanian. Uh, let's bring out the uh, Kamal. Where are my spiders? Okay, we've only got one unit of spiders left. Send you guys over here to hope to do your best. Ah, oh, nice. They've got a Drake out. Is this Drake? No, it's Fireworm. Oh, close enough. Fools. Uh, it's all of those created. How is this building going on here? So we need to upgrade you one more time. And then we can bring out some more tomb or bring out some tomb guard. God, we haven't got any yet. Um Can you guys stop them if you can? Okay, yep, great, you leveled up. Awesome. We still want to stop them. And I think that's them all dealt with. So there is some treasure over here. Grab this treasure before anyone else. We're gonna steal it off of our ally. You're nearly fully upgraded, that's good, or fully healed. Uh, Crimple the Torture is not very really good. Frain the Broken is pretty much useless. Uh, so we... Uh, Cargast. Let's get one Cargast out. And these will help buff up our front line. Uh, let's get you... We can't get you off your horse, can we? No. Don't really like using mounted units in uh, Age of the Ring. Uh, because they get absolutely destroyed by... Uh, any any form of pikeman. That's that done. So now we can bring out some tomb guard. We're going to wait for our last summon. Not summon. Uh, we wait for Cargast to come out. Once Cargast is out, then we'll send our troops in. I'll bring my spiders over here as well. A spider can join our force. Is this attacking us? Okay, you're actually attacking a building, which I don't mind you be, um, destroying. Um, ideally, we kind of want them to not destroy that. Cargast, there he is. An old king. You can get an upgrade for these guys as well. The tomb guard. Be nice to stop them from destroying this, to be quite honest. There we go. Okay, at least that's down. I've uh, got some troops coming across here. Let's send in our spiders. Uh, his Goblin Warriors are just going to ignore them. Not ideal. Uh, and this might do a lot of damage. Okay, we charge the, at them head on. Um, yeah, we're probably going to lose all of our spiders here. Bring out some spiders to assist. And they use their Rain of Arrows. Fine. Right. Let's call in the Queen of Spiders. Uh, let's bring out another tomb guard. We are low on resources. Did I only buy one? Looks like I did. Never mind. Uh, so I've got two units of these spiders left. Not ideal. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu, more tomb guard. And that should do for now. This shade. You are tethered to this apparently. Uh, but that does allow me to build another... Tower, which is very useful. You guys go and sit down here. I'm sending you waiting for these spiders to die, to be quite honest. Uh, they are useful, but I think they've out outlived their usefulness. That's good, heavy duty. 
when the Tomb Guard dies, um, troops near them get slightly stronger. So we don't have minimal range with playing as Dol Geldor. You'll see how strong the heroes are. Uh, that's... We can, afford, we can afford a couple of these upgrades just to help defend. Just in case they break through. For whatever reason, all these upgrades give... Um, or just give bonuses. Like all upgrades do. Uh, let's give you banners as well. Uh, I think can we afford one more unit? Uh, command points, 80. Uh, we have... Yes, we can fit one more unit in. We get this one last unit. Uh, this person... Um, so we've got a relatively strong army here. See, my ally has done a lot of damage. And we've kind of just relied on them doing everything for the time being. You guys just doing an attack move into their base. Um, yeah, so you guys are number two. Bring that, all these troops just over here. How are my spiders getting on? But annoyingly, I don't think my spiders are going to die from this. Uh, let's put you into number three. You guys can all attack that. At level, at level 3, it can get some sort of archer towers of some sort, I think. Okay, you guys are defending it. Good. Did I click another one? Yes, I did click another one. Good. Uh, okay, this is definitely my spiders over. Uh, this fight down here. Let's get uh, Undead Monstrosity. Very good summon. Uh, let's get this one last Tomb Guard once they're out. Let's get their upgrade. Boom, there you go. You guys are all team number one. Let's make your way down. Let's go and give these guys a bad day. You guys attack the fortress straight away. My army down here will just come and... So the one ring's out. Whoever's got the one ring, this unit here. Awesome. Uh, you guys just... There's no point actually attacking that fortress. Let's just go straight over here. And this guy, this Nazgul, relatively quick. First one on the scene. Uh, Kamul. Uh, let's actually assist these guys with destroying these. With my Entwives. This is quite a beefy army. They're, all my troops are strong. Um, yeah, it's just a, a strong army. Just not, not many. And you don't have the numbers, but you have the strength. Okay, you guys make your way over here. I don't really care about clearing out all these buildings. You guys just wait for a second. You can see how much damage Kamal's already taken. Uh, that's just because he touched someone has um, a halberd of some sort. So this will be interesting. Let's bring out a monstrosity. Let's make our, our troops strong here, down here as well. Monstrosity, you just... He's essentially like an abomination from World of Warcraft. He's got a hook. He'll also be sick on things. He'll be sick on those guys. Um, I can't really see what's going on here. You guys are doing an attack move over here. You guys probably stop throwing your rocks at allies if you can help it. Okay, awesome. You guys have done your done your thing undead monstrosity you just make your way into this base so you can see what's there uh, this let's attack you guys attack this one tree first undead monstrosity you attack their fortress I'm going to let these end wives just uh, for everything they've got these trees that's that one tree down let's go attack this Uh, let's now send everything in. Undead Monstrous, I don't know where he is. I um, think he's attacking something. Yeah, so I kind of did rely on my allies in this battle here. I wouldn't have been able to do this without them, just to be perfectly honest. I'm just not good enough on this Age of the Ring mod. Are you guys doing an attack move down here? Because uh, they've got a lot of troops in the area. Uh, Kamal, let's just drop you back so you don't actually die. Or you can actually, he rode, he rode straight through all of the uh, enemy force. It's pretty cool. Um, you, are, you guys probably should. That's their fortress there, isn't it? That's their, 
It's an expansion. That's their fortress. You guys all attack the fortress. You can probably use your fire attack. Um, that would have done loads of damage to any enemies, but apparently, I think we've only just got their fortress left. Yes, let these guys throw all of their boulders out. The Entwives are really strong. Um, once uh, Entwives are killed, they dropped a Tumorous Acorn, which will respawn the Entwife if left alone. So essentially, they can essentially live forever, in theory. Okay, we can't attack that building anymore. It's got some, like, buff on it. But those warriors just did a full charge into my troops and barely even touched them. Which is very good. And then my, just a horde of just troops doing relatively well. And then I don't know how long this tremor lasts for. We can't attack while the tremor's live. Uh, would like to get the Gift of Summoner. Gift of Summoner and Summoner summons an uncontrollable swirling green mist. All units caught up in it will slowly burn. Oh, yep. Is that done? We're victorious. But not as exciting as some of our other Battle for Middle Earth matches. However, that was a uh, 3v3. You can see here that I was nowhere near the top. The goblins in this are ridiculously strong in this mode. I've fought against the goblins a number of times, and I've struggled every single time. But not not the most exciting of matches. It's who our, be our best unit was the Tomb Guard, which makes sense. Uh, what is our quite high strategic skill? Uh, not the highest tactical skill, though. Uh, but we'll end this uh, episode here. Not the most exciting. Still apologize for that. But next week, there'll be another Battle for Middle-Earth match. So, hope to see you uh, next week. Uh, so, have a wonderful day, and peace out.